Hello, Gemini. It's on Oh My God Tarot, and this is your November tarot card reading. It was actually quite fun using the house cards to figure out what areas you guys are most uh, affected by. The Ooh, this month, I just dropped some cards. Don't worry. We'll throw them back in the fray and shuffle. And so, Gemini, I want to see what's going on in your November. It's, I feel like it's been a while. Oakley Doves. House cards, house cards, house cards, green. Give us some cards and tell us what... No, give us cards for Gemini and tell me what they mean. Oh. That's a freestyle, right? So, the second house, Gemini. Hey, your assets, your finances, and the things you value. Isn't that all for... It's not up in the air for everyone right now your things your money income finances might gotta sell might have to sell the guitar might have to sell them shoes might have to sell Listen. Gemini you already know what time it is you got the seventh house the area of your life this area of your life is about long-term significant partners romantic business or family long term though no flings no flings okay here we go oh this tripod is just in the way so gemini are you excited about the seventh house thing because that makes it a love reading makes it a little bit of a love reading all right so the tenth house this is your achievements and status in the outside world so second, so your money, your money, I don't know which one's one, your money, your relationships, your long-term relationships, and how you appear, your status to the outside world, that's all in question this month. All of it has been called into question, but be cool, Gemini, because I got you, and it's with the, t the tattoo tarot. All the decks I use are in the description. And the uh, Le Tattoo Tarot. Tell us, tell us about Gemini in the November, because what, what is this about? You know, we could, you know, we're bringing in the Taurus energy, the Libra energy. That's a lot of Venus. But then we're also bringing in the Capricorn energy. Then it gets earthy. So, practical, stable, grounded. I like that. But then also loving, caring, committed, loyal. I like that. Let's see, Gemini. Oh, shoot. The Seven of Cups. We're starting off with choices, options, baby. And wondering. Oh, Two of Wands. Look at that. Ace of Cups. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Okay. Then Six of Wands. In reverse. What? Six of Wands in reverse, and the Hermit card. Okay, am I being punked? I'm going to pull another card. That's why I'm doing that. Here we go, here we go. Eh. The oh, shh. Oh, shh. You had to, didn't you? <laughs> All right, so. Seven of Cups, Two of Wands, Ace of Cups, Six of Wands in reverse, the Hermit, the Lovers in reverse, and <clears throat> like I said, healthy dose of finances and, and relationships, so, and how people see it in the world. Now suddenly it's opening up for me. It's opening up for how you treat people when you're out here in this dating world, in, this, in these relationship streets. Please don't tell me that you guys are being cheap. Please don't tell me that you guys are being moochers. There's something about that that second house and reputation. Your money, your relationships, and your reputation. That could even mean that you're bad with business or you have a reputation with long-term business. People have something, a thing or two to say about you this month. You know, your reputation and money. What have you guys been doing? Some of you guys are like, oh my God. I borrowed $20 from Mike last week. Okay, I'm going to pay you back. Jeez, don't worry if I got a burrito that day. I know I should have paid you back first. Don't watch my... Like, there's something about that. And 
I have a feeling that you guys know more than I do, of course, for your specific situations, because this is a general reading, but I feel like this is about your choices. <laughs> it's about your choices. The choices you've made pertaining to the link between your money, relationships, and how your reputation. So this is about the choices you've made. Of course, I don't think there are any malicious choices here. This card is not in reverse, and there are no there's no drama, but it's just like you're you're you've been your brain's wandering elsewhere you're not really focused you're not really committed you're not really thinking about um your choices in the way that you should be and we see this with the two of wands we know the two of wands is somebody who's just you know like they're 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 looking out there at all this possible but at the same time it's like i could do this or i could do that i could do this i could do that it's, it's almost it's similar to like having these options and making decisions and being at the paradox of choice or just being paralyzed by all your options but the two of wands is about that action so it's about t taking actions but like kind of just doing whatever so i feel like some of you might have some financial situation because of choices that you made and you were just doing whatever so you weren't trying you didn't like overspend but she didn't realize the interest rate on that you didn't you signed up for that deal but you didn't realize it was with a six month commitment to, like you know what i mean it's like something that you did but it's like there was more to it there was stuff out there to be imagined there was stuff out there that you should probably ooh, you know take a closer look the fine print okay so contracts beware beware this month ace of cups speaks to new connections so you better believe i'm thinking the new contracts anything new coming up you got to watch that um just make sure again that you do your research on your any decisions you have to make this month um, the Ace of Cups speaks to a, something that excites you, something that makes you feel, that resonates with you, something that feels familiar, something that you're like, oh my God, yeah. A new feeling, a new connection. So that might be a new opportunity, again, as far as like your, your things, they offer you something, they offer you an opportunity, or they offer you a social connection. Again, it hits on your reputation. So it might be something they just see in you, they've heard about you, they may just look at you and be attracted to you, but it's about your outer perception um, and the, the way that the world receives you, the status. So Ace of Cups, it speaks to a new exciting connection. And then followed by the Six of Wands and the Hermit, it makes me think, okay, we got the Hermit associated with Virgo and the Lovers associated with Gemini. And so that's both the Mercury peoples. You guys are the Mercury peoples, um, ruled by planet Mercury. Um, which is communication and like networking so like the interwebs makes me makes me feel and then also the hermit is giving us that little loner energy there that lone loner wise guy wise man um energy so it just it just feels like you know lovers destiny in their soulmates energy is in there and the, what it's like what does it feel like to you because I know that although this see the six of wands is supposed to be this this figure of victory, but this is in reverse. So I wanna I almost wanna say you get more than you bargain for. And you might be getting more than you bargain for with a Virgo or even another Gemini. But I feel like it's because the connection feels like it's like a soulmate connection or there might be some some major theme that makes them feel familiar but it's a long-term relationship so you already know this person you already would know this person so this month I just think that like your money just maybe watch and maybe don't just let somebody take your credit card maybe don't just trust what they're saying because they're like trust me bro you know some of these victories like you win you got what you were trying to get or even like in a situation where like this hermit person wanders with their intel and they go to you and they go i have this great amazing opportunity where you can make 500 bucks like i just need you to uh, give me a thousand bucks and i'll give you 1500 back oh okay cool yeah you find out that they just took your money and did a thing that you could have done easily and they got ten thousand dollars from it and then you got 500 and they profited like eight thousand with no risk so, something that simple um, feels like is in the confusion and that would kind of line up with somebody being smart and a, a, a silent observer learning the tricks 
of the trade and executing flawlessly Virgo energy. So Gemini, if you have uh, somebody who ha is normally like that, I feel you're, you would already know who this person is. I feel like they're, they come in while you're supposed to be making these good choices. And although it might be exciting to connect or initiate a connection with this person, maybe they've been away and you're reconnecting with them, but let's, I kind of want to like look at the Ace of Cups, Six of Wands, the Sun. Okay, so yeah, there is a little bit of nostalgia. You might even have a child with this person. They could have Leo energy to them. You might reconnect with them, might have reconnected with them in July, August. Um, this person might bring out your inner child. It may make you feel like you, like the goofy, silly jokes. Usually that's established with somebody that you have history with. Um, or not, it could be. No. Um, or they could just deal with kids in the situation. You know, you deal with kids in the situation. And um, interesting. Make sure I can. Very interesting. Okay, so... Seven of Cups, Two of Wands, Ace of Cups. Again, relationships, your things, your status. Emperor. Okay. Three of Coins. Yeah, it's like you got to get yourself situated. You got to make yourself. Um, you got to make sure that what you're heading into is not just because of the nostalgia. And the drama it seems like you're reconnecting with somebody from the past and although that's a good start a good connection purely based on just feelings and and good intentions i feel this person although they may come to you with opportunity it may not be the full scope of the opportunity and this deep connection is probably what why you got played um i'm not saying they're evil i'm not saying they're bad they just maybe did good business but that might be somewhere for you to kind of tap into and be like hey you sure bamboozled me i want to get into the art of bamboozling people but like legal bamboozling you know upselling overcharging tell me about that hustle okay we can connect on that we can connect on that we can make decisions that are good for me that works for me that works for me the lover is supposed to make decisions heart-centered decisions let me do right by you even if it's the the detriment of us um but the lovers is in reverse so there might be a little manipulation to those feelings and that connection of like again long-term connection so Pisces might be coming up with you with an unbelievable opportunity. What if they're like, hey, okay, how about this? How about you move in with me? Da 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 You're like, oh my god, okay, okay, that sounds like I win. Okay, great, we move in. And then you're a caregiver now for their their parents or their child or whoever. And you're like, oh, 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 I see what you did there. You alley-ooped me. You alley-ooped me into responsibility. Okay. Right, three of coins is... Talking about collaboration. Like I said, then, hey, meet my aunt. Meet my meet my dog who's very sick that needs you, your assistance. The Emperor is Aries energy, so they're gonna they're trailblaze their way into doing something that is for them, serves their purpose, and then hopefully figure out a way for you to just enjoy it. Cause you're doing it. So you gotta get that done by any means necessary. Collaboration speaks to maybe even coworkers, somebody that you do business with. Obviously, a long-term connection, but multiple people. So you might have a roster there until you get what you're looking for. Or you might be on a roster. Yeah, you know what? This If this is a Gemini forward reading, it's almost like it's looking like one of those, like, I'm going to do what I want to do. And you don't have to know all the details of that. Because life is a hustle, baby. And if I get you to buy me a purse and I get him to buy me a purse, and another person to buy me a purse, if I return that purse, and you still see me walking around with that purse, it's because I already had that purse, and I'm just gonna take that money and pay my mortgage or rent or whatever. So what's the difference? You were gonna pay for it, so what's the difference? Okay, I lied about that one part, but the game, don't hate the, don't hate the player, hate the, listen, you know what you do. You know your thing, Gemini. Very persuasive, very persuasive people. This is at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Wands, heck, you guys may be traveling. You may be putting a special effort into this. I think you guys like that stuff too, don't you? Don't you like being persuasive and being like, look at, these are my, uh, these are my trophies right here. This person I swindled out of 800. 
Remember Ocean's Eleven? It was based on me. <laughs> no, you guys are not that bad. You're not like that, but it seems like you know the connection that you have. I think you may have to like know that if if you let them take advantage or like kind of swindle you or whatever, they can get away with it. Like you know, your brother comes over, they can steal, they steal a bottle of wine from you. And it's like not like you're gonna do anything. You're gonna be like, stay there, move on with your life. Sure, because if you asked for it, I would have given it to you. But like you know, you're being silly. Um, but this feels like that's the that's the value of the connection that comes in, and that they just probably offering you something or doing something. It's it's it's, it's pretty harmless if you think about it. Hey, can I sleep on your couch? Uh, yeah, 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 sure. And then a month later, you're like, hey, you've been here for like a month, brother. What's going on? What's happening in your life? It's kind of like that. Like, I can pull that off, but I couldn't pull that off with some stranger. You know? So, yeah. There it is. That's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment, share the video, and if you like your own personal reading, you're going to have to wait because I haven't done that yet. But you can check out my Etsy shop where I have candles, natural wax candles, eco-friendly candles, and fragrance oils and gemstones, even some bracelets. So, um... Have a look sees at that sees. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Ciao ciao. Ciao ciao. Who am I?